The bad idea today is we're gonna move one Lamborghini to actually drive the race car. It's probably an awful idea, but we're gonna drive it. If we can even start it. Do you know how to start this car and drive it and all that? Make sure I have no idea. I don't know, step one, race car ownership. We gotta figure it out one way or another. Step one, drive and figure out everything works. Today, we're gonna press every single button, except for the one. Do not press this button. Is that the fire? Yes, it's right here. Fire. So if you pull that, it basically dumps that entire canister on all over the, the engine, on the floor, yeah, everywhere. So we should disconnect that. Yeah, we probably should disconnect that. That canister, right? Right there. Full of fire retardant. We need to go buy uh, another seat too because you know we're homeboys and right now you're rolling solo. Yeah, no, we need two seats. We need one seat that even fits this guy. Oh, that's small. Go sit in it. Le Mans. Yeah, Le Mans. You gotta think about being in Le Mans. Okay, you ready? Put the on. <laughs> We're all old men now. You know that? You want to keep that seat? It's a little tight. I told you. Damn, dude. Being in this thing at full throttle on a racetrack would be intense. <laughs> There's nothing comfortable about this car. The back of the car is so aggressive. When you see this with your eyes for the first time, this line right here that's like thin that goes down the rear quarter as well as these louvered rear quarters and how they go from large to like these intricate little corners and everything about how they redesigned this and how low this car is. All of it adds up to we're probably gonna f something up today. So don't go anywhere because the odds are we might wreck something very expensive. Step one, let's get this car out of the garage and then we're gonna figure out how to get that thing started. I was kind of listening when Mike said how to do it yesterday, but I was pretty excited. So I'll be honest, I probably don't remember. And you guys decided to talk fast like me. I do, really, really fast. You do. Okay, fire this thing up. Everybody needs their the Lamborghini SVJ V12. <laughs> some because race car going on here. That is uh, I wonder if we could do a burnout in this for sure. You probably can't do a donut though because it's like no angle on the steering. You don't have to, you just you do the donut with your throttle. You just get in it, pivot on the front wheels. Pop the clutch. Wheels don't spin. What's the worst that could happen in here? This is a slippery fall. Back end kicks out. That's one of the lifts. Smash the back end. We get four new lifts. <laughs> oh, the lift wouldn't be wrecked. It'd be the back end of the car. Okay, you want to try to do the startup whole thing with me? Okay, do you have power? I don't know. Well, I usually connect that to the battery. Is that what he did yesterday? Yeah. Did Mike connect it to here or the actual battery? Well, that's a positive terminal. You're a positive person. Ground, ground, ground control, dude. Man. That's positive there. Oh, I got an idea. I saw this in the book once. Right? I get an error message. <laughs> there weren't any with no laces, so I just grabbed these. Ones. Oh, those are sick. Yeah, these are, those are cool. definitely my Pelote driving shoes in the race car. I like the ones that have the racetrack on the bottom of them, but I think these ones are a little bit slimmer than those, so I grabbed you these. I don't know if that's right or not because it's going nuts, but like, let's try that. Put the shoes on. Can you just see if this works first? Okay, hold on. Let's see if I remember this. So, first thing was power. Yeah. And then ECU. ECU. Ignition. Correct. Hold on. This is all turning on. Lamborghini. And then ignition. And this is the last step right there, Damon. And then this one. I think we need to like build uh, oil pressure and all that. Oh, engine warning. Engine wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh... Need some more juice. No, it's just turning. It's in it. Whoa. We're going gear. car. We're not sure how to use it. Right now it's not going into gear. The screen's saying paddle down. Right, so you can't get in gear. Okay. A couple of things. One, <laughs> that was the gentleman that I bought the car from. Good news. There's nothing wrong with the gearbox. There's a very specific way to engage the gear in the Super Trofeo car when you go from neutral to first or neutral to reverse. You actually have to hold the neutral button down and then put it in gear. Oh. So it has to be clutch in, neutral right. button in, held, and then engage first. It's amazing. 
gear now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try We're all been waiting for two hours for you. Are you ready for this one? There's emotion and there's like things going on, right? This thing has a soul. You can just tell by the way it sounds when we start it. And Dave was so excited because what were you saying? You're like, this thing sounds like no other V10 Lambo on the street. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Huracan. I mean, it still sounds like a V10, but it doesn't sound like any Huracan I've ever heard before. And we've heard a lot of Huracans here at David from Exotics. It is the number one least vehicle in California. Dare I say, it's got more of a CGT sound. Just start the car. Does it have more of a CGT sound? Mark, man. It's debatable. Master debatable, though. And start it. Oh, hold on, I got like six buns. <laughs> It's alive! Well, <laughs> we're quite proud of ourselves. These are sick. I'm excited. Good choice, Mark. You're cool. so comfortable. All right, first try. Okay, put it in gear. To put it in gear, I need to go neutral. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> okay, get it yeah. straight and do some burnouts. You're good. Slow, slow. Crank it back up. Damn, this thing is low. There's no lift system because it's a race car. There's no wood. Look at this thing in the sun. Crank it. Slow. Go. There we go. Gears whining. This car has no fans in it. It's supposed to be going fast, not sitting idle. Let's let it cool down and I'll do another one. There's definitely a race fuel in that thing, hey? <laughs> that was like 1810. Yeah, dude. You see me slide the corner? Is there any race fuel here? I'll tell you this, it was like this slide, and I was like, oh shit. Wheel yeah. lock, lock. Now, when he called, he said one thing on the phone that was pretty funny. I don't want to insult you, but maybe you should read the manual. <laughs> I don't want to insult you because I don't know what your skill level is or knowledge is of this car. And I said, oh, you're not offending me. It's negative 10. <laughs> so he said, well, I'd advise you read the manual because it's important things to know. So he said, the things you want to know, he said, no matter what, you always want to start it on a jumper pack. Really? Yeah, he said, all race cars are like that. By the way, can we talk about something like how good this car sounds? It hurts so bad, dude. Like, not even exaggerate behind you, it's the most painful. It's like it being behind a Ventador. It's a high pitch, so the way it cuts through your eardrum and it hurts immediately. It looks so insane. You guys wait, just wait until we get the front end put on this thing. I know. The first thing we have to do with Mike is to get a factory front end or whatever, so you can actually turn the steering wheel. Because the fact that you can't move out of the parking lot is really annoying. The only reason why I took that corner is because I slid the back end out, and I knew that going into it. Then you just have to drift every corner. You still can't drift because you have the angle. So we have to figure out, like, you just swap out from a factory Huracan, the uh, suspension in the front or whatever it is to do that. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. So cool. All carbon, all the raw carbon. And it looks really mean. Like from back here, when you look at it. Yeah, it's too bad the doors and roof aren't carbon because then the whole thing would be carbon. How sick is it that this thing has got like slicks and you can just see the whole back of the tire? This whole section right there. Makes me so excited. Did I even warm these up? Nope. They're like <laughs> freaking hockey pucks, bro. Well, guess what Essa has? Tire warmers. Did you really? Yeah. We can slap this on, jack this thing up, and we can put tire warmers around the tires and get them hot before we even go up. Mike's going to teach me how to do it because I want to go full pit crew style. Like, show me how to do the wheel. Oh, we're, getting, we're getting everybody like matching suits and like yes. the pit crew helmets and stuff. That'll be so much fun. We got to have a dedicated support vehicle for this. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> the mini vest. The nitrogen tank in the back. We're need obviously Mike to bring over one of his jugs quick fillers what else do we want to do on this thing you know what I really want to do blue tank 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we're not going to be racing this in a series and it's essentially going to become my very first really like 100% dedicated Gymkhana style build. Even right now with it being rear wheel drive, I still think it would be cool to see if we can get VF engineering to supercharge oh, this. Shit. Oh, like don't get me wrong. This thing has a ton of power and it's yeah. immediate. <laughs> What's another 240 or 50 horsepower? Well, That's a really good no idea. one has ever supercharged a Super Trofeo car, ever. I think the biggest challenge with doing the supercharger is the fact that this car's on MoTeC and Nick usually uses a factory ECU. Yeah, but well, Nick still has to relearn car. that. Nick has this car and Nick has a tuner. He has a whole race team. That's the cool thing is Nick has this car and raced it last year in the Super Nick, Trofeo. you were well qualified. You're not my best friend now. And he has two drivers that run the car and they won some of the races last year. Oh, they're like, gonna they love us. <laughs> they are not at the back of the pack, so congrats to Nick. Oh, yeah, I got one too. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> scoop, scoop. The front end's pretty wild looking, just with the ram and the like the air. Are you gonna on the other Huracan do the same cooling setup like this with the big duct with the big radiator? Well, Mike and I were talking about it, and we want to do it. The downside is it takes a bunch of time. It's probably cooled down enough. You want another burnout? Yeah. <laughs> Process to like stop, put in neutral, put in reverse, back it up, the little bit of steer angle, stop, put in neutral, put it in first, go forward, stop, put in neutral, put in reverse, go back. Like a three point turn, I literally have to push nine buttons. <laughs> How's it running? Fine. It's cool. That looks like it's got tread lines in it, but that was from the slicks. Yeah. Forty thousand dollars to get these floors polished. <laughs> that was me. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was you giving it light gas. Oh, this is me too. They did offer to come back with the machine and polish these for us anytime we wanted. That doesn't mean we repolish it. It means they come and buff it. That's different. No, they said it's polish. They said buff. He said polish. The question is, what do we do now? I'm tempted to drive it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm tempted to drive it on the street. As a friend, I want you to, but uh, as a person who would like for my paycheck to come next month, I don't advise that you do for the sake of you. If I'm in jail, my wife actually is the one that sends you Dude, money. Dude, Sandy. <laughs> By the way, I'm one of is not his wife, so. Same thing. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I got this GoPro for Damon. So we'll just uh, we'll just stick this. You How's he gonna talk? No. Put that in my mouth. I'll put it on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, get like a hat or something like that. It's a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> really sweaty. Brasso Mars, Lamborghini color. No. Oh! Yeah, man, it's yeah. Where are you going? Hard to see. Get in the car and go through the whole sequence. Start in the car, turn in the car, put it in gear, everything. Coming with me. Here we go. One, two, three pedals. Brake, clutch. We're gonna need this. Pull with your top hand and your bottom hand like this. That's the release. You're gonna pull it in, line it up on the wheel, push it in, release. Like that. And that's locked in. Come on, Dave. I wanna watch you try to get in here too. More space because there's no seat. That's actually making it a little easier. Oh. How is that? It feels safe right now. It's not safe that feels okay. like. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go power on. Up, then we're gonna go ECU. Then we're gonna go ignition. Then we're gonna go main pump, power steering. Now we're gonna go clutch in and start. Car started. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Right now we're in neutral. So we have a neutral button, and we have our reverse button. To go up gears is the right paddle, to go down gears is the left paddle. To get it into first gear, you need to be clutch in, neutral button in, left paddle in, up a gear. There we go. We are in first gear. Uh, sound good? If you want to go backwards, neutral in. Okay, so you have to hold this in and then neutral, paddle in, reverse. Now we're in reverse. 
ECU button, ignition button, yeah. main fuel pump. Why can they all, not all be one button? I have no idea. When would you ever run just the ECU button or just the ignition? You wouldn't. You have to use them all. And I was told that to start the car, if we're ever wanting to start it, like we put the power on, we put the ECU on, we let everything turn on, right? And the MoTeC on the dash, turn the ignition on, pump, and then power steering. Now, if we go to start the vehicle, right, and it doesn't start, you don't want to hold it for any longer than four to five seconds. And before you attempt this, try starting it again, you would turn the ignition off, and then you would turn the ignition back on. This is real easy. And then you would attempt to turn it on again. Well, this is warmer, so it's pretty good, though. You just want to drive it now, so we got to go clutch in, neutral button in, up the gear. Can you give us a little push? What? What's happening now? Well, yeah, just roll, roll me forward and back once or twice. <laughs> Nick explained, remember that time we were with them? Sometimes you have to manually push it back yeah, and forth. You have to roll it because it's in between the gear or something. There we go. Thank you. Now we're in first gear. Watch this. I'll show you my three point turn. Okay, we go up here. Or stop. Do not feel good on the back. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Neutral. Back. Reverse. Cranked? Oh, that's fully cranked. <laughs> that's it? Yeah. Oh, that's so violent. I don't feel safe with no seat. Yeah, Having this thing roll for whatever reason helps it get into gear. There we go. Uh, nothing to hold on to. Step two, angle kit to the front. Reverse. Step three, new front end. Step four, a new best friend for Damon. That's not helping that much. Comfort guy, but a seat would be nice. <laughs> Literally, you're just leaning against these bars when you're ripping it. Off. <laughs> Anyways, you're getting faster at that, though. Yeah. How you know. badly do you want to take this on the freeway right now? Uh, for now, I just really want to take this off my. Face. <laughs> bigger seat will be nice stay tuned to the next vlog we will be with any luck going and picking up front end parts this thing is gonna look so much more aggressive when the front end's on hey it looks crazy now but it just doesn't look complete it looks all messed up to me see you in the next one what's that? Oh. sorry i'm still not sure about that yeah neither are we are you siri be quiet okay. all right this is as quiet as it gets. <laughs> <laughs>